Fred Flintstone's Adventures with Inclined Planes, A Rampant Good Time, by Mark Weekland, illustrated by Alan Brown. Thanks for helping me move this piano, Barney. Hey, no problem, Fred. When it comes to moving heavy things, simple machines are the best. Wedges, screws, axles and wheels, pulleys, and levers are all simple machines. But today, we'll be using an inclined plane. That's right, Barney. Put the ramp in place. I'm sure you know the truck's ramp is an inclined plane, just like any slanted board. Like all simple machines, an inclined plane makes work easier. Hey, Wilma, here's your new piano. To start the piano off the truck, we exert a force. A force is a push or pull. We could use our arms to lift the piano, but it's awfully heavy. And lifting would require lots of effort. It makes more sense to roll the piano down the ramp. Careful, Barney. Aye, aye, Fred. Combine a ramp with wheels and axles, and your work becomes even easier. When these boards were lying in the grass, they were just planes. A plane doesn't do work, does it, Barney? No, Fred, it doesn't. But if you lift one end of a plane, it becomes an inclined plane. To lift a heavy load more easily, slide it up an inclined plane. Look out, Pebbles! Here we come! Morning, Marbell! Mrs. Mudstone's daughter, Marbell, uses a wheelchair. To move her wheelchair easily from the ground to the door, she uses a ramp. Gee, Fred, inclined planes make lifting easier for people everywhere. A ramp makes work easier. Ramps are a type of inclined plane. Look out below! Stairs and ladders are examples of inclined planes. So is a playground slide. Inclined planes are tools for moving objects from low places to high places. They also help us move things from high places to low places. Playground slides and water slides are really fun inclined planes. Whee! Who says big kids can't have fun? A freeway ramp is another type of inclined plane. This ramp is only slightly inclined. That means only a little force is needed to move our car along it. However, to reach the top, the ramp has to extend for a long distance. You know, Wilma, I bet we'll find other inclined planes on our vacation. I'm sure, Fred. You look tired, Barney. I know, Fred. That's because you used a lot of effort to climb this mountain. The Fred Flintstone way is to use a simple machine. Walking back and forth in a zigzag pattern is like making ramps. Ramps make a climb much less steep, but you have to walk a longer distance. Fire escapes, ladders, and stairs are all examples of inclined planes. After all that hiking, this cable car makes getting around really easy. In cities like Sandstone Frisco, cable cars travel up and down the hills. These hills are natural inclined planes. Lifting a car straight up and down requires lots of force. But when a car travels along an inclined plane, less force is needed. Isn't this fun, Pebbles? Inclined planes help people travel from low places to high places every day. Hey, Barney, look at all the inclined planes at this ski resort. This ski slope is one. 
So are the little ski jumps. Gravity is a force that pulls everything toward the center of Earth. A slope with a gentle incline lets people move down gradually and slowly. Slopes can have a steep inclination too. The steeper the slope, the faster an object will move down it, and the quicker it will reach the bottom. Look out, folks! Here comes Fred Flintstone! I'm going for a gold medal! Yabba dabba doo! A ski jump is an inclined plane that creates lots of excitement. It sure was great to see inclined planes everywhere, wasn't it, Wilma? They made lifting heavy objects from low places to high places easier. And they made moving objects from high places to low places more fun. We had a wonderful vacation, thanks to simple machines. Thank <laughs> you.